You're watching DIY Nate. If this is your first time here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to my weekly content. All right, friends, I want to talk to you today about one of the things I'm really excited about. Um, it's a, an application I use all the time on my iPhone, um, certainly available on Android as well. It's an app called Waze. And uh, Waze is kind of a, um, you know, Google Maps, uh, kind of social media interaction way to navigate. Um, think of it as a replacement for your Garmin, if you have one of those. Or back in the day, we used to all thumb through the uh, the Atlas or the, uh, the individual maps that you'd pull apart, uh, unfold, and have to go buy one per state. Um, so this great app, Waze, is just awesome um, from a navigation perspective. It allows you to put in the address you're heading to, um, and it'll give you directions on how to get there, and it takes real-time evaluation of where are you going based on the traffic patterns that are currently out there. You can also look at different routes if you know you don't want to go a certain way. It also even lets you add in things like uh, additional points of interest that you might want to catch on the way. Uh, for instance, if you're driving to a faraway location and you know you and the kids need to stop for um, lunch and you want to find the nearest Wendy's, you can plug that in and hey, here's the Wendy's. It's coming up in 14 miles. Um, okay, hey, we're planning on that stop. So that's how we use it a lot when we're traveling uh, across state. So um, Waze is just a fantastic app. I'm a huge fan, so easy to use too. All you gotta do is go to your app store, download it. Uh, most likely it'll have a sign-in function for if you already have Facebook or Google, you can sign in using that or you can create your own unique password and user ID. I just prefer to use one that I already have a user ID for. Um, then when you get into the application, it's as simple as putting in the address where you're going. You can also save a home location and a location where you're going, uh, maybe work. Um, I actually use Waze every day. I have a pretty long commute uh, from where my home is to where my office is. Um, when I'm not under COVID, um, you know, uh, work at home uh, sanctions. I try to use that um, that Waze app to tell me if I'm going to run into any traffic uh, that might be in the way. And many times I also add different locations. So I'm going to show you in a second here how to use it um, using the uh, the screen capture uh, from my phone. I'm going to show you how that works. I also have a video for anybody who might want to do screen captures and show other people how to do things. You can check that out at the link up there. Um, and certainly appreciate you watching this video. Let's get into it. All right, on the home screen here, you see the big uh, blue box toward the top that says Waze, kind of with a uh, little conversation bubble with a smiley face. I'm going to click on that, and you're going to see here um, we have some uh, various locations, things that I've searched for in the past. You can have your favorites in there. Uh, you know, I've got my home address and my work address in there. Uh, additionally, um, let's say in this case, I want to go to a location like, uh, let's say baseball starting back up, and I want to check out the new Truist Park, uh, the new name for the uh, Atlanta Braves Stadium. So I'll type in Truist Park. It says, hey, here's your address. It's 21.6 miles away. Um, you know, it's got things like nearest parking lot, several other features. And if I click go at the bottom, you'll see how this is going to map uh, to the location that I'm going. Let's take Medlock Bridge Road, Johns Creek, and I-285 West. And you'll hear in 700 feet turn left on Lakefield Drive you'll hear the audio uh, kick in and it'll give you an option to say okay how am I gonna get there you can also zoom out to see the route that it's currently planning for you you can see how I can zoom out and say okay what what route are they sending me today okay well it's got this location and certainly if I wanted to look at an overview of it it'll pull it up here um, I can also see if I wanted to look at different routes or potential other options if I click on the little arrow, I've got a button for routes, and it gives me one that's 34 minutes, one that's 39 minutes, and one that's 44 minutes. Sometimes we all know that we're smarter than the computer, and there are certain things that it doesn't know certain times of day or certain uh, types of construction and other things that might not show up. So in this case, you can kind of see how the app works here. Um, it gives you some very easy things to do, and gives you an ETA of when you'll arrive. 120, uh, it's currently 1244, so it says, hey, that's going to take you 34 minutes, Nate, to get over there. Uh, it's 26 miles away. Um, it also shows, um, you know, other things you can do um, in the program. And if I wanted to add something uh, as well to this, I could put another search in and say maybe I wanted to hit, uh, I don't know, let's say I wanted to catch a, um, you know, O Charlie's along the way. I don't know why I thought of O Charlie's, but let's go with it. Um, so there's no Charlie's. Uh, if I search for it, it'll say, hey, along the route, there are this many O Charlie's. And you know what? There's not really any that are con convenient to your current location. Every one of them is off route. Um, so hey, you might not want you might want to pick a different restaurant. Um, so if I picked one of these though, I could say hey, the, 
This one, um, it's 11 miles away. It's 15 minutes off route. That's probably my best option. And then it'll reroute, and it can say you can add it as a stop or create a new drive. Um, so if I added this as a stop. In 800 feet, turn left on Lakefield Drive. It'll route the two different directions in this case and say, hey, first got to go to O'Charlie's. It's up this way, and then turn back around and go the other way. So you kind of get an idea how this app, they do just an absolutely great job in uh, making an intuitive app. It's free of charge. Um, I love that about it as well. Um, you guys know I like to save a penny. Back in the day, we all used Garmin's, probably paid $100 to $200 for the Garmin. Um, you know, so these mobile apps, uh, I think about MapQuest and printing out directions to go somewhere um, back in the day when you had your PC. Um, boy, how times have changed and what a great innovation. So if you have people who haven't seen this, uh, this application or are interested in uh, maybe having a better navigation uh, solution instead of having to look up maps, um, I am the first to admit I am terrible with directions. My wife would vouch for that and uh, tell you, you know, I couldn't work my way out of paper bag. So with that, um, you know, I can certainly use Waze to get me uh, pretty much anywhere I need to get. But um, for the most part, this application works just absolutely great. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you get a chance, go out there, sign up for Waze, um, get it downloaded to your, uh, to your phone, and let me know how you like it. Um, we'd love to hear your comments if this is the first time you've heard about it or already knew about it. You might know somebody in your life who could use this app, and, uh, you know, maybe it will help improve their life a bit. So always love helping other people out and making them more efficient and, um, and their productivity. Um, I feel like I'm doing my job. So, All right, this has been another episode of DIY Nate. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment, and check out my website if you get a chance. Um, in the comments, you can find out how to get there. Really appreciate all the support. Thanks. Have a great day.